Righty ho, so this pointy finger is the salt shaker tremolo. Um, it's got lots of controls on it. This is the new decal version or whatever. I refinished my original one and if you buy one, this is what they look like. It's a very versatile tremolo with lots of controls. We have the usual depth and rate controls that control the uh, intensity and speed of the tremolo. You also have a fine control here which adjusts in fine increments the speed whereas as you'll see the, the rate control is extremely uh, broad ranging. Um, over here we have a shape control which goes from a sine wave on this side over to a more choppy square wave on this side and here you can control um, on this side ratio which is the ratio of peaks to troughs so here lots of peaks and here lots of troughs you can see that the light spends more time off than on this is a tempo light which is always on and it's got a status one there for when it's activated so let's hear a couple of terminal dawns okay so we'll start with something incredibly boring and ubiquitous but whatever Okay, so the range of this thing, so this is the with the slowest possible uh, rate, both the rate and fine controls on zero. And then you can adjust that with the fine control. So up here you've got more of your volume swell sort of sounds. And that fine control just gives you like a really nice adjustable range. So. Right up to when we get into the top range. So I reckon you can set, if you set the rate to max, then the fine control effectively gives you the range that most channels give you. Maybe some of them go a little bit slower than that, but this is a nice... Super fast without going ring moddy. Now this ratio control over here is probably the most weird to understand at first, but Effectively, it's changing uh, the shape of the wave so that your or the, the duty cycle, whether you've got like mostly off or mostly on on here. So it can be added. It can be called maybe a smoothness sort of control, 
and it along with the depth are going to affect how intense your tremolo are. So let's sweep through the range on that. So as you can hear, that's an aggressive tremolo, even though it was on sine wave. So now with square wave. So that's where you're really getting into a sort of robot talky 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 sound. And finally, let's just do a, um, a bit of the depth so you can see like uh, how that affects the sound. Now, the important, one important thing to know about this is no volume drop when engaged. In fact, it's got a trim part on the inside which you can adjust to set the level of the thing. And I have it set just so that it's a bit above unity so that when I use the tremolo live, it, it, it hops out and makes itself stand out as an effect. It says, hey, look at me. I'm a tremolo. Pay attention. So there you go, it's the salt shaker.